welcome 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 back to my channel guys on today i will show you how i make my sardine guys without uh, tomato paste i will be using the wild caught sardine guys and i like to use the one that's in i will be using the wild caught sardine guys and i like to use the one that's in a hundred percent olive oil and it looks like this all right guys it's already um they took the skin off and also they took the bones off i mean out and i will also use this one too because i have two different ones these are my last two i have another wild one i do not eat the sardine unless it's wild caught guys but this one still has the skin on which i don't have an issue with all right guys and it's in olive oil as well I do not like tomato paste in my sardine. I mean, that's just me. I'm gonna show you how I make mine. Simple, delicious, guys. To start off, we're gonna add some oil. Let's make sure, yeah. I'm gonna add some oil. And I'm using grapeseed oil as usual. And this, I will not add two and now to that I'm going to add some butter okay I'm going to add just a little bit more butter like that because I will not add any liquid to this this is it guys and this is why you have to use a decent oil use avocado oil or you can go ahead and use the grapeseed oil or your um, olive oil all right now to this I'm gonna add just a little bit of my ippies I mean I'm not adding that much and also I'm gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic and I do have a video up on how I mince my garlic you know do not buy that store brought stuff all right guys i'm gonna just let this cook for a few seconds and we're not gonna let this burn at all guys as this is gonna be delicious all right it's starting to sizzle so what i'm gonna do is add in my i have here some scotch bonnet i have some tomato onions, different uh, colored bell peppers. I have fresh thyme and fresh um, parsley. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions, tomatoes, everything. I like when the thyme is kind of fried in the oil a little bit, it infuses the dish, guys, gives it a nice, nice flavor. So I'm going to let this saute. Okay, just a little bit. And I just want to go ahead and season my vegetables just a little bit. And with nothing but some pepper, some black pepper. A little bit of seasoned salt. Just regular old seasoned salt. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook for about maybe a minute or under a minute. And with this particular dish, I don't mind when my vegetables are soft. I gotta eat everything together. Alright, so we're gonna let it do what it do and I'll come back. I'll show you everything else. All right, guys. Now, I forgot to add my cloves. So I'm going to add just a few cloves. Like that. I'm going to turn my stove down just a little. And now we're going to go ahead and pour our sardine in. Let me push these aside.
This is how the wild caught one look, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and add the other one in as well. And remember, everything is in olive oil. Okay. So what I like to do, I do not like when mine are big pieces. If you do, that's fine. But me, I don't like these big pieces pieces of sardine and guys sardine is so so good for you it's high um it's high in calcium guys it is so high in calcium protein and because they're such small fishes i did use some more seasoning salt because the fish are so small guys i'm going to use some adobo there's low mercury in it so it's even better than eating a big fat snapper guys it has a lot of omega-3 in here guys also besides the omega-3 it has your vitamin b12 it's high in vitamin uh, d guys this is a healthy healthy piece of fish to enjoy I'm going to enjoy mine for breakfast. Yes, guys, this is breakfast. <laughs> if you're from the islands, you understand. Uh, we do not eat pancakes for breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some fresh lime juice. You have to have your lime juice. And we're going to just allow this to cook. And I'm not going to move it around too much because I don't want it to break too much. And we're just going to allow this. I'm going to put the lid on and just allow it to cook. But let me give it a taste first to see if we have enough seasoning in here. Guys, it is... Oh, my goodness. Guys, I only used the seasoning salt and the adobo, some black pepper, and all these um, fresh vegetables. And it is... Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. It has a nice amount of heat. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for about, I would say, two to three minutes. And then I'll come and show you how I serve it. All right, guys. Here is our fabulous, fabulous, fabulous sardine, guys. It is excellent in taste. I know some call this the poor man's food. But I tell you, this is one poor man food I enjoy. Not only because it tastes good. But the health benefits are outstanding. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe. Mm -mm 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 -mm.